first of all, I'd like to say rest in peace for Shaw Walker Jr., innocent life taken, who had nothing to do with any of the chaos that was going on. Syracuse, New York, Bricktown versus 110 game. It's been a lot of speculation going on over the years. A lot of, you know, BS. Innocent life of this toddler right here was taken. And it was complete chaos in the city. And it continues to be that way as we speak. Covering a couple of these stories, you'll get to know people like Saquon Evans, the convicted murderer allegedly of the child, Rashad Walker, when he shot into a vehicle on Coolidge Avenue, Syracuse, New York, occupied by two other adults, one of them being the children's mother of his best friend, Jarrell Williams, who you'll also see he was convicted, sentenced to 40 years, state prison out of Syracuse, New York. Like I said, these crimes are definitely horrific. We don't condone them. I'm just covering. You know, you got the murder of Kahari Blue, who was friends with Saquon Evans and Jarrell Williams, who was murdered one night when they were driving in a car on 690 Interchange near uh, Interstate 81, Syracuse, New York. Kahari Blue, a, a basketball star at Henniger High School. Life cut short, struck in the head with a bullet. Believed to be by the 110 gang, but it turned out it came from another gang called v Not Valley Ninjas. And that is the accused killer who shares the same first name as Kahari Blue. His name is Kahari Smith. And this is nasty. I don't understand it. And that's Jarrell Williams, sentenced to 420 months federal prison for multiple shootings and the murder of Anthony Ford. I also see that Jarrell Williams has a petition to get his time reduced out of the federal penitentiary. And that's where you can, you know, this is definitely disturbing. You know, not only was the child's life lost, but these young men didn't even get to fulfill the things that they could have done in life because of the things that they were into or they were influenced by. And it's just a disgusting thing. That is the father of the murdered child, Rashad Walker Jr. That is Rashad Walker Sr who was arrested for a murder, allegedly for the get back of his child being murdered. But I, you know, from my understanding, it was an innocent man that was a hardworking man and his life was taken. Rest in peace, Rashad Walker Jr. That is the alleged driver on the Kahari Blue hit. I don't know how to pronounce the first name, last name, Nickens. He was the alleged getaway driver the night Kahari Blue was struck in the head. A lot of stuff, you know, we're just jumping around and going from place to place. But, uh, you know, I'll come back and give you a, 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 a... uh, a part two of this because, you know, I'm just giving you a brief rundown. There was a lot, a lot of chaos, a lot of gunplay. You know, people underestimate the upstate New York area, but it's nothing nice up there. They give it up just as filthy as they do anywhere else. Another one of the v Not members. And these was the uh, 110 members that were swept up in a uh, recent Indictment, a dog Anthony Haber, Ken Norris Kinsey, A.K.A. Pep. Nothing to do with the first indictment, but you know, I guess these was the supposed ops. 
Nate Williams. Qualik. The reputed uh, mastermind. And, and just to, uh, you know, it goes on today. Just recently, this guy right here was murdered. A Bricktown member that changed his life around. Daquan Sullivan, also known as Kiss, was gunned down by a pair of 16-year-olds. You know, this has to stop.